Hi everyone, welcome to the weekly review of my M1 Finance dividend portfolio. Balance on the account is $110,135.78. This is a big increase from last week's update when the portfolio was about $108,000. So the stock market was definitely doing its thing this past week. So let's check that out. Past week, portfolio was up 1.39% or $1,513.56. SEHD, we're just looking at the portfolio breakdown. There's two investments in the portfolio, SEHD and VU. And those are the only two investments I plan to keep now and forever for this portfolio. SEHD was up 1.18% or $750.10. And VU was up 1.69% or $763.46. The ultimate goal is for each of these ETFs to be 50% each of each in the portfolio. As we see now, SEHD is 58.2%. And VU is 41.7%. So I'm continuing to work to get it up to 50-50. Let's go ahead and look at the deposits for the past week. There was only one on February 19th. I put in $200. It all went to VU. And I got 0.43 shares all of my future investments or deposits will be getting invested into VU because, again, I'm trying to get the portfolio to be 50-50. So until it reaches that, the algorithm on the M1 Finance platform will just send all the money to VU, which I am not complaining about at all. So let's just look at the recap. Started the week here, just like I was saying, at $108,422.22. I put in $200, which I just reviewed with you. And then there were just market gains of approximately $1,500. So I'm really happy to see the portfolio at $110,000. I think it was very slow going. Once I hit that 100 k mark, it just felt like, Wow, it's going to take a really, really long time before <laughs> it gets to like 150 and 200 and 250. But I'm starting to see just, again, the constant investing from my end, plus being patient and just believing and trusting into my investments, which I do now that the portfolio is comprised of the funds that I want it to be comprised of, that stock market will do you well, right? It's still a roller coaster. So all of this could plummet next week <laughs> and I could be back to 108,000. But I was very pleasantly surprised to see just a jump in the balance. And it wasn't because of a large deposit that I put into the portfolio. Let's go ahead and look at the holdings. So that's just overall how the portfolio is doing. So you see here, it's up $6,632.63 or 6.41%. SCHD is up 5.28% or $3,219.63. And VU, look at VU. Wow, up 8.2%. 03% or $3,413. So very happy with both of the performance. Clearly, VU is performing significantly better than SCHD, but still love SCHD and believe in its performance now and in the future. So definitely still will be hanging on to that and making the portfolio 50-50 because it's been a while now since any money has gone into SCHD because, again, my portfolio is trying to bring it <laughs> equal balance between them. And you see here SCHD, 64000 invested in that. VU, 45000 invested in that. So until it's 50-50, no money will go into SCHD. So really want to get back to that as soon as possible. And 
and no money so far that I've identified to invest for next week. So next week is a pay week. So I should have like 25 bucks to put into the portfolio. Again, everything, it ebbs and flows. Not every week I'm going to have thousands of dollars to put into the portfolio, but I should have at least $25 for next week. So I'm now really excited because with it at 110,000, I'm like, oh, 125,000 doesn't feel that far away anymore like how it did once I just hit the 100k mark. So my ultimate goal is to see if I can get this portfolio to 150 by December of this year, but we'll see. But I just hope the stock market keeps on helping me out because <laughs> I'm trying to put as much money as I can into the portfolio but i also need the stock market to like do its thing as well we need to like work together we need to support each other okay this was a rambly video but yeah i'm just so excited i'm really excited to see one hundred and ten thousand dollars here but let me know how your portfolio is doing um did you enjoy i don't know if you're invested in the s p 500 but if you were, I think it was Friday or Thursday where it went up like over 2%. It was absolutely just mind boggling to me. I was just like, whoa, that's a really big jump. So I am loving it. No complaints at all from my end, but let me know how your investing is going and I'll catch you next week. Bye.